thank you for coming on my show, Ms. Arshia. Can you tell a little bit about yourself? Yes. Yeah, so my name is Arshia. Um, I'm currently the reigning Miss Team India Washington first runner up. And I've been preparing for nationals, which is this year in December. Um, I have a younger brother who's my absolute favorite person in the world. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I play some sports. I do some dance. Yeah. Very nice. Um, Arshia, so my name is Victor. Um, I'm co-hosting on the Ryoichi show. Um, I'm actually from my own podcast, uh, the Darker Tan Asians podcast. Um, again, welcome to the show. And um, I'm going to be asking you a few questions as well. Um, so um, you are reigning, correct me if I'm wrong, you're reigning Miss India, correct? Not, not re sorry, not Miss India, but you are reigning um, Miss Teen India, excuse me, Washington. Uh, so tell us a little about, about that process. How did you get, how did you enter the pageant and you know, what was, um, what was the motivation behind that? Um, so pageant, that was just something I had my eye on for a while. I'd actually been, I've been watching pageants since I was seven years old. I just always used to watch them in front of the TV. And then I talked around with some people and they're like, oh, there's a Miss Teen India Washington pageant that occurs here every year. And so I was like, during my 10th grade year, I really wanted to join, but it was just kind of busy. But this year I was like, I'm going to go for it, you know, with school and everything. I mean, it's hard to manage, but I was like, I really want to do this. I'm going to jump into it. And so, yeah, that's just kind of how the pageant started. My parents were supportive. They said, as long as it doesn't get in the way of my education, anything is fine. They were like very helpful with everything. So that's just how I dived into the pageant. Very nice. Yeah. Um, thank you, Victor, for uh, that question. And that's, you know, one thing I noticed is um, I'm going to ask you, were you nervous um, getting doing the pageant? I was nervous. I was so nervous. There were, I'd seen, I mean, from what I've seen on TV, there's like so many rounds. And I definitely, there was so much effort that I had to put into the pageant. There were so many rounds that we were competing in. And I was so nervous, but I think the most important thing was within the pageant, the group of girls that I was competing with, it really didn't feel like a competition at all. Like we were all just so supportive of each other. So it was just like when I like immersed myself into it after a while, I stopped feeling nervous. Very nice. Um, you had mentioned that you did other things like sports and um, extracurricular activities. Can you name some of those? Yeah, so I do swim. I'm currently my school's um, swim team captain this year, so I'm oh, really nice. excited about that. And then I also do track. I used to do club and school track. I also do dance. I've done a lot of dance. I've done Paranathyam, which is this Indian classical dance for eight or nine years now. And I've also self-taught in Bollywood. I trained for about two months from outside, but I've been doing Bollywood dance for 11 years as well. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And um, about swimming, um, what is your favorite um, stroke that you like to do in swimming? Because I was a butterflyer. That is impressive. My personal favorite is the freestyle. I like it simple. I like it fast. I love the freestyle. It's my absolute favorite. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm with you, um, Arshia. I just can't do freestyle. So, um, and if I have to swim, if I don't have to be in the water, then I won't. Um, but if <laughs> push comes to shove, uh, then if I have to be in the water, then yeah, I'll do, I'll do uh, freestyle and nothing else. But um, you had mentioned, you had mentioned Bollywood dance. And um, I know uh, on this show and also my show, we interview a lot of actors. And do you have any aspirations or plans to maybe enter Bollywood or at least the film industry here? Um, yeah, I actually, when I was younger in like elementary school or middle school, my dream was to be an actor. I kind mm. of grew out of it just because everything got so busy with school. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe after school, I'm kind of, I still really like the world of pageantry, modeling and acting group together. I still really like it. So mm. I, I know a lot of people do enter acting from pageantry and I feel like I would be willing to try, but it's not like my one and all like I must be an actor but I think the acting world sounds amazing yeah very nice nice very nice um my next question is you know it, where do you see yourself 
uh, in five years. I know that seems a long ways from now, but in the pageant and like uh, like Victor said, possibly uh, being an actor. But where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself. I hope that I can still continue on with pageants, even if it's just a small part of my life like even if modeling is just a small part I do want a part of my life to be dedicated to that portion just because I enjoy pageantry and modeling so much um I've done a few fashion shows and they're just like my favorite thing ever they're so they're just so comforting like I really truly enjoy it but I hope like even if I'm doing a job like my plan is to apply to college with like a data science major so hopefully if I do study data science and I'm working that job, I still have some part of my life dedicated to pageant. Very nice, thank you. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to touch up upon uh, on this uh, Miss India. You know, there's many pageants here, especially in, in America. And <clears throat> this specifically is Miss uh, Teen India, Washington, mm -hmm. at least the state, state in, in, in America. How, important is it to you to to represent your culture you know your mother culture and what do you what do you want to accomplish um as as far as cultural awareness of uh, indian americans here i think within misting india washington this is like a global running pageant so there is like um a uh, USA competition and then a worldwide competition after that. But I feel like Miss Teen India USA, the title is specifically so important because it gives like South Asians really a chance to shine in the spotlight. And even in Miss America, like 2014, I believe it was a South Asian girl who won Miss America. But I feel like with Miss Teen India, there's just so many rounds and so much you can do. Like with this, beyond this pageant, like beyond the crown and the sash, there's just so many platforms there's so much community service so much volunteering I can do like my organization specifically this pageant organization we donate to shelters in India and we create like food we make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so things like that I feel like it's really giving back to the community very nice that is that's very nice that um, you're giving back to the community um you know I'm as myself I'm Japanese half Japanese and I also give you know, stuff to my own community in my own state. And um, it, it just means a lot that you're doing that. So I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, as yourself is, you you know, being a pageant, do you, you know, like, you, do you see yourself hopefully going all the way, like you said, going to Miss Universe and Miss America, you know, Miss India, you know, kind of like Miss America, where do you see yourself? How far do you see yourself hopefully going? I, I mean, the dream, the goal is obviously to go to worldwide. I have, so our competition is coming up in December for USA and I've started preparing. I feel like honestly, all the girls, I've watched videos from 2023, 2022, all the girls up there are just so talented and you know that everyone put in so much effort so it could truly go like any way. But I feel like as long as I give my best shot, I hope that I can move on. And I've, I've started preparing, like I have, three or four months, but I've started preparing my talent around and practicing for my question and answer. So I really do hope I can go to worldwide, but there's like no guarantee, so. Thank you, that's, thank you, thank you. Um, Arshia, I wanted to um, also touch up on, you You mentioned about uh, representing uh, not just uh, Miss India or, or I'm sorry, Indian Americans, uh, but also female women. Um, what do you, want to accomplish what do you want to see um as far as um you know recognition for women or what what would you what, what's the message what is, what is your goal as far as um being a representative of um of women um ethnic women if you will or just women in, in general um what do you, what what do you want to accomplish as far as goals as far as um driving um the recognition for women's accomplishments yeah, so actually my platform that I went into the pageant with and what I hope to do through this platform is advocate for women in education specifically. And mm. so I spend my summers, there's this um, organization called Girls Rock Math and I usually spend my summers volunteering with them. And it's young girls in elementary school and I spend my time like teaching them math, helping them, being a counselor. And then at my school, there's also this Girls Who Code Club, which I'm actually the president of. And so I think my platform is just very strong women in STEM. And I like I 
I'm going into data science, as I mentioned, that's my hope. And I feel like I've just seen so many times, even in my computer science class, I think I was one of three girls. So I just really want to send the message to like young girls that like, whatever you dream, whatever you want to do, you can achieve like with the hard work. Yeah, that's a great message. And I think um, education is very important. Um, I'm, a, I'm a teacher by trade. Um, so I'm a humanities teacher and, and I believe in, in equity and equality um, and education, I think is, is um, I just talked about it with a friend yesterday. Uh, education is something that you cannot take from anyone, you know, when you earn it. So and education is important. You know, I think uh, the world um, is better when uh, we have more educated people. And for you to advocate that, especially here and driving that force of like, hey, you can do it. You, even though you're a woman and, and, and you may not get the, the opportunities as, as, as others, but you're, to advocate that is, is very admirable. So uh, continue what you're doing. That's very impressive. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I totally agree. And, um, you know, I'm so proud that message was powerful and, you know, please continue your work. Um, you know, you are going to change uh, the world slowly, but one by one. And also, mm -hmm. you know, you're impacting a lot of young women out there who are looking up to you, who are going to see this interview. Um, but, you know, they're also going to be inspired because you are showing younger ladies in any culture and women um, that if they want to go into pageant, that you're showing them don't be afraid and, yeah. you know, continue that journey. So to me, it's really powerful what you're doing. And I'm, I'm so happy. Um, my, my next question is, um, how do you, since you have all this school activity, um, how do you maintain your, your life as your young self being a junior in high school? But how do you maintain your life going to school and practicing your your pageant and getting ready for all this big stuff that's happening and i you can correct me you have something coming in december but how do you prepare yourself you know you said you're a swimmer you're a track and how do you you know you know focus all that all behind that yeah i i feel like that is honestly such a valid question because there's just so much going on I truly think the best thing you can do is just try to be productive. Like you also want to recognize that you have to put yourself first. Like it's not always about work, do this, do that, do that. As long as your mental health and you're still taking care of yourself, I think that's really important. But for me, like even these days, though it's summer vacation for us still, I work at an internship at the University of Washington. And so from that, I'm gone. That's like my nine to five. And then I come back, I prepare for the pageant and I have swim starting next week. So I'm like planning socials. And I think at the end of the day, I just hope there's time to sleep. And, but don't get me wrong, sleep is important. Please get your eight hours of sleep, but mm -hmm. it's just kind of go, go, go. But I also make sure that it's not to the extent where I'm pushing myself too hard. So. Well, thank nice. you. And, you know, also you mentioned mental health, um, you know, that, that hits me hard because I'm a big mental health advocate. So thank you for mention that and and um it means a lot so thank you yeah I'll, I'll continue on that subject of mental health i think it's very important um i wouldn't just say nowadays but it's always been important um having been a teacher for the last seven years i see what um kids go through um especially in the high school and middle school levels and i was the type of guy i mean i'm in my 40s um, I was the type of guy that that goes, oh, you know, we didn't have it as bad as we did, and this and that, and this and that. Um, but now that I've taught for seven years, um, I do notice that socially, um, that it's very difficult. Uh, obviously, we had our difficulties way back when, um, but with the uh, creation and prevalence of like social media, I know um, it's it's hard. For, for any young, it's, it's hard for anyone not to have a social media or at least follow social media or be on it in some capacity. But with all that pressure, you know, you can look at your phone and you can see what's going on in the world. And then on top of that, be able to focus on your studies and your, you know, your regular life. How, what would you do as far as, what would you suggest as far as um, 
kids your age or even a little bit younger to preserve the sanity for lack of better terms um, or, or, you know, preserve your mental health um, it, it, with, with, with uh, kids your age? Uh, I mean, I know it's kind of a broad question, but what would you do to um, preserve that? And, um, you know, how, how would you get them to be like, hey, you know what? Um, there's a lot of things going on in the world, but I advise you to do this or that. What, what, would, what would your advice be? Yeah, so I think, as I mentioned before, it's really just about knowing, like, to prioritize yourself. Like, I, being a junior in um, high school who is applying mm -hmm. to colleges right now, I know that school can be, like, super pressurizing, but I mm -hmm. think it's just important to step back and take a break. And as for social media, I do think social media can be a really good platform if used within limit. Like, mm -hmm. if it's to the point where you're using it a lot, then it becomes harmful. But at least for me, I personally still have screen time limits set from my mom. So <laughs> I'm using Instagram. I have like a That's good. Limit. But honestly, like at first I was like, oh my gosh, why do I have screen time? But I really do think that screen time is super beneficial. And when you use it, like only within a certain extent or to a certain limit, it's really good for you. That's awesome. That That's so refreshing to hear that parents actually still regulate um, the children's usage on online and video games or what have you, um, because that's, um, th that, that is a good thing. That's, that's reassuring to me. Yeah. Um, it is um, <laughs> really, really ensuring, um, you know, mental health, um, you know, it's very good that we are talking about mental health. Um, I keep bringing this up because, like I said, I'm, I'm a very, very hardcore um, mental health advocate. And, you know, it's very important that we we talk about this issues, especially uh, when you're when, you know, anybody. But, you know, for you for yourself, I'm going to go back to this mental health again. How do you keep yourself focused and healthy and your mental health? when you're going through this uh, Miss Teen India and all going through all this pageant, because I know, I could be wrong, please correct me. I know it may be difficult trying to maintain your mental health, your mind being, and your brain is talking to you and, and all this stuff. And I, how do you go through it? And you can maybe advise other people. Yeah, I think... For, at first, it was really hard for me, honestly, because when I first joined the pageant, I still had swim season going on. And so what my schedule was, I would go to school in the morning, I would go from school straight to swim. And then from swim, I would straight go to pageant practices and I would get home at nine or 10, actually. I'd get home at 10. And at that time, I'd finally get like I used to eat my dinner in the car in between. And at that time, yeah. I was like, okay, I have to do homework now. And it became like at first it was like a lot to manage because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm staying up until 3 a.m. and I have to get up in three hours to get ready for school. But I feel like within a week or two, I was just like, okay, no, I can't do this. Like I know how much to put on. So I think I was like, okay, I'm just gonna put this, I'm gonna take a little break from this. I'm gonna make sure I use my time productively in school as well. Like I don't wanna just like roam around. And so I think, I think social media also ties into that. Like as long as I'm not diverting myself with a bunch of extra things I think like if I just have like my goals clearly aligned in front of me then I'm like I I'm also a huge person I love to-do lists I love making schedules and I love to-do lists so I started making those and I was like okay this is what I have to do first this is what I have to do next and I just had like three goals that I wanted to achieve every day which kind of helped me keep keep me focused and yeah well, thank you. I appreciate it. That helped, that helped me a lot. So thank you very much. And I'm pretty sure um, it will help. I don't want to say pretty sure, but I know it will help other future Miss Teen, Miss uh, Miss Pageants out there as well. So thank you. Yeah, Arsha, I, I think that, that's that's awesome that, that you're organized and, and, you know, you schedule. Um, I think planning is, is everything, right? Um, mm -hmm. In life, it, it's, it's so essential. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Um, I think here in America, we, um, you know, I, myself, I'm an immigrant. Uh, so I, I see some of the things that we have here and then that, um, like in my native country or, um, other, other countries that they don't have, or they don't have the pri uh, privilege, uh, uh, have to have. Um, 
being now a representative of you know of women um, and and young women, if you were to be an ambassador, right, um, outside of of um, of America, you see a lot of countries that don't give women the same rights and privileges that we have here in America or Western countries. What would you like to see, or what would you dream of being able to do um, to better those rights and privileges um, that women and many people have here that others don't have in other countries? I think I think this can also tie back into what I said about girls with education, because I feel like I think society has been progressively getting better, but it's still not where at where it should be. And even like with this platform, like what I try to do, like beyond the sash, beyond the crown, there's just so much more like volunteering. And what I would truly love to do is like, if I could just like give speeches, if I could talk about girls' education, like being a woman in STEM and being a pageant queen, I just feel like I have so much to say. And I think that especially in third world countries, it's a lot like men and then women. And Mm -hmm. so just like to be able to say what I have to say and like not even say, but just show through my platform and through all the other girls who are competing in this pageant. If we could just like, I would just be like, look at us today. Like we're more empowered than ever. So just, I'd like like to give speeches. I'd like to send out the message that, you know, girls can do anything. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a great message. That's, yeah, that's a, a powerful message. And I appreciate you sharing that message, um, you know, and, I'm speechless because that message, what you said is very powerful. And um, I usually would have to follow up something else, but um, it gave me chills that you, what you said, and it's the truth. And I'm, I'm glad you spread that message and I'm glad what you're spreading that message around the world. And I, and I personally believe it's going to impact a lot of people and I don't want you to stop. I want you to keep going. And, you know, um, makes me a little emotional hearing this because, you know, you, it's a powerful message, you know, and, and you know, you, you, you're showing the world, a lot of young women out there that we, I say we, I'm not, saying, but you know, women that can change, they can be what they want to be. Right. And if they want to be a doctor, they want to be a doctor, right. They want to be an actress. They want to be an actress, but they want to be a model or be a Miss pageant, et cetera. But you're showing that as a high school student, I mean, you're showing that by, you're doing, uh, you know, you have sports, you know, you're showing that I, I'm a, a team captain, right? But you're also showing that I can also be a pageant and I can be Miss Teen, Miss India team. And to me, what you said is very powerful because you're, you're just showing the world that anything can be possible. And it just, it just means a lot. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Well, you know, let me let me switch gears a little bit. Um, uh, you know, let, let me change the temperature a little bit. Um, again, when going back that we, um, Ryo and I, we, um, you know, on our podcast, we like to talk about films and, and television shows and entertainment industry. Um, let me ask you, what are some of your favorite movies or some of your favorite genres or, or TV shows that, that you want to share? <laughs> uh, my favorite movie. <laughs> I love the TV show. I don't know if you guys have watched Young Sheldon. Yeah, I yeah. love Young Sheldon. It's the my prequel to The Big Bang Theory, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't watched The Big Bang Theory. I watched it a little bit when I'm like flying. I was on a plane and so I watched <laughs> some of it. But Young Sheldon, it's like my comfort show. I can watch it anytime. It can make me laugh. It can make me cry. It's it's just such a comforting show for me. Very nice. Any Anything else? How about movies or like genres? Maybe. Yeah, movies. I love rom coms. Um, I also watch a lot of Bollywood movies. I'm yes. a huge fan of Bollywood movies, so I watch those. But then there's movies like Clueless. I love Clueless. Um, Ten Things I Hate About You. I love Clueless. Those. Okay, that's that's from when I was your age. That's good though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, keep on going. I'm sorry. I was. I just had a. I, I'm so. I'm so amazed that you like Clueless. That's awesome. I, I love that movie. I genuinely love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, nice. I think movies, I don't really watch as much as I watch shows. I love Gossip Girl. I also watch Grey's Anatomy. I've watched almost all of the seasons, which is crazy because <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah. But 
I really love Grey's Anatomy. I, I even started wanting to be a doctor for a little bit after watching Grey's Anatomy, but then yeah. I let that go. And then, <laughs> yeah, there's just, I love watching kids shows too, honestly, like randomly, I'll read, was it like Jesse and Bunk, like shows I used to watch when I was 10. I was like, I'm going to watch these again. So I'm, I'm honestly open to anything in that industry. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. That's amazing. Grey's Anatomy. I still watch it this day, so don't be embarrassed that you're still watching it. Um, and of course, I watch um, all the shows that you mentioned. Um, <laughs> so don't don't be don't be um, uh, embarrassed. I still watch Big Bang Theory. Um, it's a really good show. And also for me, I, I will say it quick. It actually makes you laugh. You yeah, know, exactly. that's the one thing you know makes your mood happy young Sheldon too so it's like yeah um so I like I like both um yeah but uh if you had to choose between you know so I, I know it sounds wrong but if you had to choose between young Sheldon or Big Bang Theory which <laughs> one would you really watch That's, I want to see young <laughs> Sorry, I haven't just... completely watched Big Bang Theory but I think I'll say young Sheldon just because I watch it twice and I also watch edits of it, but there's just so many emotions that that show makes me go through. I can just like feel anything and everything. And like, if I'm just ever bored, like I can always just rewatch Young Sheldon. Like it's on repeat. I love that show so much. I was going to say the same thing. And it's true, by the way, real quick. It does make you feel everything. Yeah. It is. And also I will say this again real quick. It's that Young Sheldon, since you're in high school, it does help with a lot of high school students and middle school students with what's happening and and it and the life and schools and all that so um, i just had to ask that question i know it's kind of weird to choose which one but i would have chose young children as well no so, yeah young children nice. <laughs> yes <laughs> nice nice um okay so I'm, I'm gonna switch gears again um you said you're a junior in high school correct yes okay so you should be taking U.S. history or, and then next year you should be taking government, right? So this is sort of like a, uh, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Okay, this is the teacher coming out of me. Um, so you know that uh, India has surpassed China in um, the amount of uh, people, uh, the population, right? I think India is at 1.44 billion. I think China is at 1.42 billion. And uh, India is considered a developing country. Um, many people, um, but the problem is, that the uh, the bigger cities where most of the jobs are, or if not all the jobs, um, it's it's um, there, there's just so many people that there's not enough jobs to go around, right? And um, with that said, then the, there's poverty as well too, right? So, um, what would you, as an Indian American, what would you like to see done or hope that uh, because India is right there, they have the resources. Um, they're very um, in, in as far as technology. That's sort of like the, um, you know, that's the bread and butter of, of, of the economy. What would you like to see done or um, for lack of better terms, what would you like to see progress um, in, in that economy or in, I guess, in that society, given those issues that I just mentioned? Yeah, I, I mean, job opportunities is tough because also the size of India is just so small even though it does have like approximately the same population as China the mm -hmm. actual size of the country itself is so much smaller and even I went right. to India this year and as like when I'm driving there's just so many people who are like struggling and you can just see them like sitting on the roads and they're like mm -hmm. coming to the car window we're giving them money but I feel like job opportunities is just so tough because everyone like there's taxi drivers. There's lots of people who like try to open their own stands, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, not everyone can do it. Not everyone can afford it. Right. And I feel like I don't really, I can't think of like an exact pinpoint that's like, okay, we can make this change and fix that. Cause I don't think right. there is a direct solution, mm -hmm. but I generally just feel like if everyone just like kind of comes together, I want to say, cause India also along with like Pakistan there's so many like bomb threats and just stuff going on and so I right. feel like one of the most important things about India is the community it has mm -hmm. and I truly think that just like working together can truly help uplift and bring if even if it doesn't resolve everything it can help fix some things right 
that's a beautifully well put answer. I, I really like that. And you know, if the government can't figure it out yet, then you know, I mean, but but I think I, I like that. Got to come together, and it starts with one person. Um, and you know, India it has such a beautiful culture, um, and and just so much potential that you know, hopefully one day that. It, it, the, the more people there's more jobs out there and uh, more people get um, a piece of bread so to speak um, and yeah I mean I think uh, there's a lot of potential there but uh, again that's like a message to the world as well too so um, you know build build, build your foot yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a good message and I, I totally agree to just come together and you know on, on that um, you know the switch the switch topic um, you know what do you do <laughs> something about you is what do you do for fun when you're not doing <laughs> you know going to miss pageant not doing school not doing all the swimming and all this stuff what do people see you doing what do you what do you what do people see you as outside of all this I think one thing about me is I have a huge social life. I love having a social life. And so I think for me, I just try to stay connected with all my friends, whether it's like grabbing a coffee, going to a cafe, even roller coasters. I love mm -hmm. roller coasters. I will go on every single one. Um, I went to Six Flags this year and I rode almost all of them. Some of them I couldn't ride because the lines were too long. But even like Las Vegas, like the big stratosphere, I love roller coasters. So maybe someone will see me at an amusement park. But I think for me, it's just spending time with my friends, spending time with my family outside of all of this. So that's a Very good nice. um, response. I love being out, out, out. Someone was trying to sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was good. I like that response, you know, being in amusement park and seeing family. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned um, family. Uh, I think maybe this is probably the, the, the final question, but um, you mentioned family. What are some of the things that you and your family do together? Um, we we personally really like traveling. Um, I'm actually, well, I'm going to New Jersey for my um, Miss Teen India USA. And then after that, I also have this dance competition that I auditioned for and qualified for. So I'm going to Chicago and hopefully next year we have plans to go to India because next year is my senior year so after that we're hoping to travel we love traveling together we love hiking together too usually like more hikes Saturday mornings we'll go hike somewhere um, we like going on long drives we've done quite a few road trips actually we drove to Los Angeles once from Washington so it was an 18 hour road trip no stop Ooh, wow so, that was tough, but it was amazing. It was a lot of that's fun. awesome. You got to see the whole thing, you know, traversing the whole uh, country. That's, that's awesome. That's that's amazing. Um, yeah. One last question is, um, you said you're going to New Jersey. Congratulations. And then you're going to Chicago. Um, mm -hmm. And then you're traveling. Um, you know, I may, may not have been the last question, but it's going to be is, you know, it's... Um, how are you getting prepared for getting ready? It, I forgot the date. Please forgive me. But how are you getting prepared to go to um, New Jersey? Um, are you practicing the um, the lines and, and what to say um, and uh, et cetera? I know that's three questions in one thing, but... <laughs> Yeah, so there's actually a lot with this pageant. So there's different rounds. We have, first we have this opening dance number, which is not like actually assessed, but it is just to welcome the judges because they are obviously putting their time and helping us. And so we have this opening dance that we all prepare for. Um, that's mostly done a few days before the actual pageant competition. So I haven't started that portion yet, but that usually happens in person, there's practices. And then other than that, we have the introduction introduction round where we just have like a mic we have 30 seconds to introduce ourselves talk about ourselves what we want to achieve our platform stuff like that so I have been preparing for that and then there's the talent round which we have two minutes to perform a talent some of them I've seen a ton I've been watching a bunch of videos um, I've seen like a science experiment done once weightlifting dancing singing so I'm also preparing for that I'm dancing for my talent, but I've been preparing for that. And then after that, there's also a question and answer round, which I, in my opinion, that's the most nerve wracking round because 
you're on stage and you get like you have like a little bowl of slips and you pick one and mm. you get a random question and then on the spot you have approximately 30 seconds to answer that and so I've been preparing for that trying out some random questions hopefully I'll be able to prepare some more for that so the, those are some rounds and then other than that it's just like the walk round so we have one which is like the gown which we wear and then we're just like walking it's kind of just like the walking with confidence embracing feeling empowered and then we have a traditional round as well which is like Indian traditional clothing like a langka it's called and so we walk in that and yeah that's pretty much it well thank you for sharing that um, yeah. I learned so much I appreciate it yeah I'm really glad I was able to share well um, I appreciate you um, coming on my show and um, please uh, keep me updated and I would um, love to have you back on my show and talk about your the trip in New Jersey and all the other pageants you do and um, please keep up the good work and please keep in touch with me. Yes, I will. Thank you so much for having me today. You're very welcome. Thank you, thank thank you again. Yes, thank you so much. I had thank so you. much. Bye. You. Okay, bye. Thank you. Take care. You too.